Welcome to the 2019 Canada Wide Science Fair here in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Let's go! Inside, you'll find over 400 projects from kids across the country. Let's check some out. Take a pencil, grab a, grab a stick. Let's talk to Emma. Hi, Emma. I'm Jessie. My name's Emma. <laughs> Hello. Where are you from? I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Amazing. Do you want to walk us through your project? I did a project testing the five second rule, which is when kids or adults drop food on the floor and pick it up in less than five yeah. seconds. Okay. That it comes with the belief that if you pick it up in less than five seconds, it is still safe to eat. Mm -hmm. So I tested three things in my two separate experiments. One, does the five second rule actually work? Two, does the type of food, more specifically human or dry, affect the amount of bacteria transfer? And three, does washing the food help produce bacteria, which surprisingly hasn't been studied before. Okay. So um, the results of my first experiment were that the five second rule seemed to have merit. Three out of my four conditions showed that zero seconds of contact had less bacteria than two seconds of contact, which had less than 60 seconds of contact. Okay. Um, for my results for the food type, they were inconsistent. But previous studies have said that human food tend to have more bacteria than dry food. And the first time I tried the wash, sadly, it didn't work out, and there was, in fact, more bacteria colonies in the wash than unwashed. But I tried it again, so I looked at my procedures and the factors that I thought might have caused problems, and I changed them. And the second time, it worked out really well. Okay. Cool. Can we zoom in on some of these? Are these your petri dishes? These are my petri dishes. Amazing. So from two, from two seconds non-washed to wash, there was a 97% reduction of bacteria. And the average of the reduction for the 60 second condition was actually 83. So, That's so cool. Yeah, I came up with a little revision to the five second rule actually. I said okay. quick, pick it up and wash it. That's okay, excellent. So we can eat food from the floor is the conclusion. Yes, but I would be careful of which surface you eat it from. Okay, <laughs> like the school floor is probably not your I best would, option. I would not do that. And maybe not this floor either, I giving don't. it a look. But interesting enough, carpet is actually the surface that transfers the least amount of bacteria. That is surprising. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Emma. Thank you so much. All right, let's see some others. My name is Goody Kensler Couples. I'm a Mohawk from the Gunsadage area. And my project is on cedar tea. So, this is a traditional medicine that the native people, especially Mohawk people, have been using for thousands of years. So, my main purpose of my science project was to incorporate traditional medicines in a scientific way. So, my main the purpose of this project was to test uh, cedar tea on bacteria, especially E. coli bacteria. So I did find out that I made a uh, discovery that the cedar tea actually slowed down the E. coli by 50% in a wow. time frame of six hours. That's really cool. So where did you do all this work? I had a help of a mentor for two days at UCAM and work together on creating this project. Cool. That's, and so, do you drink cedar tea? Yes. I okay. use cedar tea and my family has used cedar tea before to help us with colds. However, E. coli is not included, it does not create cold, it's a bacterial, so this was great because we had no idea that it would help with the bacteria. Cool. That's really interesting. So, what do you think was um, the most fun part about doing your science project? The most fun part was definitely learning so many different things and reading different articles and really learning the scientific part of our traditions okay. and really bringing that out into the modern science world, science world and sharing it with a bunch of other students and people around Canada. Yeah, that's awesome. So what's been your favorite part about the fair so far? I think the favorite part of the fair is definitely trying out all these different activities and seeing other people's projects and realizing how excited people are to okay. share their knowledge with others. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay. Excuse me, are you a delegate? I am. Wonderful. Okay, so what's your name? Uh, Marnie McKenzie. Wonderful. And what region are you here with? Uh, South Fraser, which is Surrey and Delta in British Columbia. Amazing. And what do you do when you're not a delegate? 
I'm a teacher in Surrey. Okay. And the reason I came to this project is yep. because I work with a lot of um, new Canadians, refugees to Canada. So I'm really interested in seeing what she has to, to tell me about learning oh, a new language. Yeah. Awesome. I know. So what grade do you normally teach? Um, I do grade one to seven because I do uh, okay. learning supports. I do a lot of oral language learning. And, awesome. Uh, but I also do math and reading intervention. Cool. Mm -hmm. And is this your first Canada-wide science fair? Um, my first is a delegate. My daughter was a past Canada-wide science fair. Awesome. And so I just wanted to give back um, for what experiences she had. Like it changed, it shaped her future, changed her her, her choice in her degree. Yeah. And so, yeah, so I just wanted to be able to give that to my students and then give it to other students. So that's, that's why amazing. Yeah. Oh, we're so glad you're here. What's been the best part of the week so far? Oh, I, I am blown away. Like, I, we're, we're, we're going to be in a, a good place for the future. Like, <laughs> I just walk through them and I'm just like, ah, oh, it warms my heart. Yeah. But also the hospitality of the Maritime, like, of, yeah. of Breverton has been amazing. And just the whole organization is just to see so many people support youth in science and engineering and innovation is just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's powerful. It's, it's very powerful. Yeah. You can see me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a wonderful experience. Yeah. Now we're in STEM Expo, and here we're going to learn about all kinds of interesting science and engineering that's going on in Canada. We can hear from universities, industry organizations, and government organizations about all of the cool science that's happening throughout the country. All of the different things that help make Canada one of the most innovative countries in the world. students a chance to do more hands-on independent work have these folding paper microscopes so um, a lot of the first year students are now starting to use these so that they can do some more exploration on their own so same thing you put the slide in take a look um, and then we have some fossils that are collected from awesome. various sites around um, around Nova Scotia very cool yeah. all right thank you guys thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, awesome. And what do you have here? So this is my senior project. Okay. In the electronics program. And usually we build something electronically. Yep. So this is a hand printer. 
Okay. It's meant to be hung from the ceiling. Yep. And it adapts to the the uh, space that it's put in. So technically, theoretically, you could print up to this this height. <laughs> so how do you even go about making something like this? Uh, this is an open source project uh, started by a guy in Sweden. Okay. Um, really, it's all there's printers all over the world. Um, I posted a, a video of my my my. Uh, demo okay. and my prototype working and actually someone from India contacted me through, through Facebook Messenger yeah. and I actually got to troubleshoot his printer from, from my hand. Very cool. So did you build it all by hand? Um, yep, all the plastic parts are actually 3D printed on another 3D printer. Nice. So it's okay. a 3D printed 3D printer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everything else is wood and cheap Chinese electronics basically. <laughs> So what are you actually making right now? Um, I'm scaling up this particular model. So, and it looks like it just finished. <laughs> so that's, this has been running since about 9 o'clock this morning. That's really cool. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much. No From the Canadian Space Agency, you are? I'm Lindsay Small. Lindsay Small and? Alejandro Mew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> um, so what happened this morning? So this morning uh, we had a downlink with Devis and Jacques from the International Space Station. So some students got a chance to have their question answered from space and others got to just see an astronaut, a Canadian astronaut, uh, and how he's living and working for the last six months. Very cool. So do you know how long he's been in space? Yeah, so he launched on December 3rd and he will be coming back June 24th. Amazing, okay. And so if people wanted to learn more about his journey and the Canadian Space Agency, where could they find out that information? People can learn more about our uh, upcoming projects and initiatives on our website. So it's uh, asc-csa.dc.ca, uh, or you can Google the Canadian Space Agency. <laughs> we have a lot of different resources. Uh, we have uh, different resources for educators, Museum science centers, um, post-secondary researchers, and also the media. We also have a lot of fantastic activities in, that are related to David's mission. So you can come to our activities section, and then we have uh, so a lot of interesting uh, activities that we have, including an e-book. Uh, we have the Exploring Earth is an excellent educational resource where uh, students can learn more uh, using pictures that David has taken from space. Learn more about animal migration, weather, uh, water levels, and things like that, all through pictures that David has taken while he's on the International Space Station. Very cool. We hope that every student visiting will realize that every young Canadian has the opportunity to ask intriguing questions, solve challenging problems, and share their great ideas with others.